afternoon, and uh, it's good to be able to talk about Meridian Water. I'm Chief Executive of uh, Enfield, one of London's local authorities in the north of London. Uh, we've got rapidly growing population, about 320,000, significant deprivation, so very much regeneration, creating homes, creating jobs, is very much part of the day job. And as Enfield Council, we fully support um, the ideas that David and Michelle were talking about, devolution of funding, devolution of local powers to local authorities and regional government. We've got a large-scale um, opportunity in Enfield. Oxford Economics believes we can grow GVA by three and a half billion pounds. Very, very significant. Lots of jobs, lots of houses. Our biggest current regeneration scheme is Meridian Water, and I'll just take you through uh, the scheme. It's located at the heart of the Cambridge Stansted London Growth Corridor, and approximately halfway between central London and the M25, located virtually spot on to the North Circular Road. It's well located. With current uh, transport systems, it's about 30 minutes from, from our perspective, anywhere of importance. Canary Wharf, the West End City, Stansted Airport, Westfield, it's very, very well located. Just a quick pictorial of the 85 hectares of opportunity. Currently brownfield, but brilliantly located against the Lee Valley Regional Park Authority and, as I say, incredibly well located from connections to London and elsewhere. We have an opportunity to build 8,000 homes and create 3,000 new jobs. And we have already submitted our bid for a housing zone, which we believe is an opportunity to actually accelerate construction. We had George Osborne and Boris Down a couple of weeks ago lending their support uh, to our um, ambitions and I'm sure they will support our bid for a housing zone. We are well advanced with the master plan agreed and all the support needed from all the various agencies, Environment Agency or whatever, in terms of flood mitigation or the Environment Agency in terms of remediation. We've had tremendous support from the GLA family, Transport for London, Network Rail, and we've now got, um, by the end of 2017, there will be a 3-4 tracking programme that will bring four trains an hour to the heart of Meridian Water. We've also got funding from the London LEP for a new railway station, and we've started the design of the major road that will go across the whole 85 hectare site. We've started already building gardens. A primary school opens September 2016, and we will be launching at City Hall our plans for a decentralised energy network for the whole of Meridian Water coming from the adjacent uh, incinerator, um, energy from waste plant, which is the second largest in the UK. We are working closely with National Grid buying three of their sites at Meridian Water and National Grid have already started the remediation progress as well as uh, stockpiling clay which will infill the gas holder sites when they are fully removed. Other landowners are supportive and are being aligned to the timescales. We have got um, a number of phases um, to make sure that we can build as quickly as possible. And basically, the housing zone, we believe, both with financial and planning support, can accelerate the whole programme. In return for that acceleration, we will be committing to build housing units at certain times and to certain standards. And roughly speaking, by 1819, in fact, the start of 1819, we would have built over 3,000 homes and complete the programme by 2024. That also alongside that, we will be building 
the new commercial area for 3,000 new jobs. As I say, we've already had significant investment, 75 million being put in by the GLA and Network Rail for the additional railway line. We have um, money uh, lent to us from London LEP for the railway station, and we've already committed money towards the major roadway and the housing zone, I'm sure will provide us the additional funding we'll be looking for. We've spent three and a half million improving uh, adjacent green spaces, and through um, the free school program, we have a nine million investment in a new primary school. We have got tremendous support from the local community, as well as a vast range of stakeholders. And we are aiming for this to be an exemplar of sustainability, starting off with level four, moving on to level five, and then towards zero carbon. And for the non-residential areas, we are really looking for an exemplar commercial area. The Lee Valley Heat Network, which will be working and supplying heat by the end of 2016, is not only a chance to give carbon-free energy to houses, but will also provide steam, which various uh, industrial sectors need for their business operations. It will also provide significant carbon savings. We estimate at least 120,000 tonnes and reduce the carbon footprint by at least 50%. As Michelle mentioned, the whole scheme has depended on getting public transport access. Without the improvements to rail, the scheme was non-viable, and we now have the four trains are now fully funded. But there is a strong lobby from Network Rail and TfL to do further rail improvements that will bring eight trains an hour to Meridian Water by 2022, and Treasury are already considering the proposal to fund that scheme. But we do believe, as Michelle's indicated, that there are other important forms of uh, connectivity. We were fortunate to be one of the London local authorities that succeeded in the Mini Holland bid uh, which is about 26 million, and Meridian Water will be very well connected for cycling to the Olympic Park, the heart of London, to Hertfordshire, and throughout North London. Private cars will be accommodated, but we will ensure that their use is minimised, both by ensuring car clubs and by very, very good uh, public transport and we will make sure that actually all public services are shared to ensure safety for pedestrians working and living in Meridian Water. That's a very quick snapshot. Um, we believe it's a tremendous scheme, huge advantage not only to Enfield but also to the greater London economy. Thank you.